I was part of the 2007 World Titles, but my luggage never arrived and I made the fatal error of roommating with Ed Quinn and the Creedler. <laughs> so I don't remember much. I honestly drank for the entire World Title. So just to segue to, um, to the following World Titles, uh, recently in Portugal, the United States crew featured incredibly well. Um, you can talk to any of the uh, Americans that made the trip and have that beer and chat with them. Uh, it was a blast. Portugal was amazing. The guys did a great job. And everyone that went, their life was certainly richer for it. And I want to just, uh, if anyone is sitting on the fence, you know, pondering, gee, man, maybe I must get to a, the next world titles or a world titles. Africa is incredible. If you've never been, there's a couple of things. One is don't listen to the media, okay? I wouldn't come to America if I listened to the media. <laughs> Who's this Trump guy? Right? So the point is, is that very often uh, media can twist and subdue your decisions. We're all getting older. We're all enjoying what we do. I think by now we've figured out that the anti-aging potion is kneeboarding, right? I just want to say everybody looks the same age as 10 years ago. Well done, everybody. <laughs> but the point is, is that we're all living a better life through this. Um, and traveling and surfing go hand in hand. And like I say, if you've never been to Africa, forget about the trip to Alaska or to Florida or whatever. There's a direct flight now, Atlanta to Cape Town. I would suggest start working towards that. I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, the African experience, there's a number of you guys that have been before, you will leave with your life richer. Rally up a couple of mates, start saving now, and uh, come and experience uh, the feel. When is it? When and where? So the question is, when is it and where is it? Those are two counter discussions and I'll just update you guys. Um, the goal is to have Jeffrey's Bay. There are a bunch of layers of negotiations that are currently unfolding. We are penciling in the second uh, set of spring tides in the back half of September 24. That's the plan. Off the back of the meeting in Portugal, where a number of delegates from around the world uh, voted for South Africa, let's say, the feel of that meeting was that if we had to wait an extra year for September 25, we would to get Jeffreys Bay. I've got a feeling we're going to get it over the line and uh, we're aiming for the back half of September 2024. So you guys have got you know, close to 18 months to plan, speculate, go on Craigslist, sell all the crap in your garage if you think you can't afford it, right? No, seriously. So invest in your own life, invest in your own experience, rally up some guys, you'll have the trip of a lifetime. I can tell you now, uh, <laughs> the, the least crowded and the best waves in the world. Like there's just no doubt of that. And, uh, and it's not a boast, we're all incredibly patriotic, but uh, guys, do yourself that favor. Just in concluding, uh, we will have it at, uh, at the point, which is a world-class wave. Uh, Jeffrey's Bay is a mile long, so there's a couple of different breaks. Um, we will have a footprint at the bottom half of the wave, anything from basically 1 to 10 feet, 12 feet, it can handle. Uh, as I said, we tr we're aiming for a set of spring tides, and I can, I've can looked back over all the years. We get a seven-day run of swell then. So that's the goal. That's the update for the upcoming worlds, and thank you for the time uh, as I discuss it. We will have, uh, a profit, like you guys have got the panel here, we will have um, a full-on judging system. We'll, you, if you don't make the trip, you can watch your husband or your partner, whatever, on livescores.com. We will be using an online system. It will be up-to-date scoring. There will be priorities and many other, many other things. There will also be incredibly cheap food. Like you guys are getting ripped off in this place, man. No, not Slaters, not Slaters in this country. So yeah, so if, like the best wine, the best steak, you're going to pay a quarter to a third of what you guys spend as consumers here. Yeah? The beer, the food, 
you've got to go see some African uh, bush and wildlife. You've got to experience that. And so the Nilo community in South Africa are waiting. We want to have all of you here. We want as many Americans to come. Let's beat the number that went to Portugal. And uh, just to wrap it up, I would suggest you come into Cape Town. It's a six hour drive with lots of cool things to do on the way. And the South African community will will communicate all of this as the time goes by. But uh, we'd love to see you all in South Africa for the next World Titles.